because we know we've got a race with that white flag waving. Well, there white it is. Flag, got plenty of room behind you, plenty of room behind you. Kane is trying to join two NASCAR Hall of Famers who both won in their 300th career start. Double Cup champion Ned Jarrett and the 89 champion Rusty Wallace each won their 300th start. That's the number Casey Kane is on tonight. Pretty nice celebration. Around the turn to the front straightaway, the 13th career win for Casey Kane is the Coca-Cola 600. Kane was able tonight. It's his third Coca-Cola win. the way this team has fought through hard times and a huge victory today helping their championship position Casey Kane gets it done at New Hampshire it's all done in Loudon New Hampshire Sprint Cup Series racing for the 19th time this season and for the second time it's Casey Kane that's going to victory lane in 2012 his 14th career win coming this afternoon on the Magic Mile. And that's always a magical moment when you get the checkered flag. May not make it around. Right front going down. Final lap for Casey Kane. Just bring it on home here. Sails nice. it off into turn three. Gets underneath Joey Logano. And Casey Kane wins the Food City 500 at Bristol. Nice job. Yeah. Good job, guys. Awesome job. Good job, Kevin. Way to go, boys. Way to go. That's a big accomplishment today. Lost here with a mistake. Two laps to go. Who's going to win? into turn one for Casey Kane on the outside. Yes, you and him. Still there. Dave, hey, when you're the leader, you don't have anything to judge off of down there. I think Jeff Gordon was a little too easy getting down in there. What's going to happen in the tunnel here? Wow. Casey Kane just drove that car in the corner. Wow. That was an impressive pass right there. He did not get a very good restart. No, we'd seen that a number of times. Wow, the run that he made down into one and off of there, and then that was an incredible corner that he made through turn two. He drove off into turn one, and I still don't think he's lifted yet. White flag is up. We're in the final lap. Three more tricky Pocono corners for Casey Kane, and one that almost got away might be coming back to him. team and a driver that I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to break out and to just tear off two or three wins. What a performance by them today. Yeah, not only are they moving up inside well inside the top ten, a second victory for the year. Uh, we're going to talk about him being a part of the chase for sure. And not only that, probably being a championship contender. The checkered flag at Pocono today, Casey Kane. Jeff Gordon will get second. After that last restart, when Kane sailed it off into turn one on the outside and made it stick. Good job, guys. Yeah, we needed that. Way to go. Great car. Fast car here. Thanks. Broke to the outside and went around the leader. Can he do it again and get back the lead he lost with the strange caution earlier involving... Kyle Busch and Martin Truex Jr. Green white checker attempt number two. Matt Kenseth being able to make that 20 far about 20 feet wide. He's a man on the 
transmission. This could get dicey. Coming around to the white flag. Kenseth wiggles. Can Kane clear him? He does. Last slap in Atlanta. in the air, the timeliest of wins for Casey Kane, who punches his ticket into the chase for the NASCAR and Cup. Get up, guys. Yes! Yes! Yo, guys, way to fight back. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. That was some good drive. That was some awesome driving there, buddy. Thank you. Welcome to the chase, baby. Nice job. Aggressive and I need him to be pushed. So now the field in the hands of Brad Keselowski. Can he get Roger Penske his first Brickyard 400? Green flag back in the air. Overtime sponsored by Credit One Bank is underway. Great restart for the five of Casey Kane. Can he hold it on the bottom of the track? Kane gets by him. Smoke rolling out behind the 11. Casey Kane in front of the two of Brad Keselowski. They go down the back stretch. Still smoke coming out of the 11. He gets up the racetrack. And the 11 goes around. They wreck behind him. Did they get to the overtime line? They haven't got there yet. Has the caution come out yet? Now the caution comes out. The question will be, did the caution come out after he crossed the overtime line. A lot of damage to the 27 of Paul Menard. The 11 of Denny Hamlin. We saw smoke rolling out from underneath the 11. We're going to find out if there's the white flag. We just saw the white flag indicating that they did get to the overtime line before the caution came out. Waiting for an official word from NASCAR, but Keith Rodden looks like he's celebrating. A record 14th caution. Still waiting to hear the official word if they did get past the overtime line before the caution came out. If they did. It will be Casey Kane's first Brickyard 400 win. And we take a look at the overtime line. Casey Kane was there before the caution came out. Casey Kane will win the Brickyard 400. On a great restart. Not a good restart, a great restart. He said, That's how you do it, baby. Winner of the Brickyard 400. And guess what? Another winner in 2017 that now has an opportunity in the playoffs. Casey Kane. So many question marks around what's going to happen in his career. Needing a win to get into the playoffs, and he gets it at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This moment. Presented by Sunoco, fueling victories all season long. He will be taking the checkered flag. Keep coming. Yeah! 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 And there's the celebration. You have to feel good for this team in Casey Kane. Go, guys. With all go. they've been through. I mean, Casey Kane has won 17 cup wins. You know, 17 cup wins. 18 now. 18 now. 
and you have to feel good about this win.